Welcome to a new guitar tutorial. Today we have a look at Broken Bells, the new song by Craftsman from Fleet, which came out yesterday. An epic sounding, fantastic rock ballad, which is really fun to play. If you're interested in sheet music of the song, you can go to my Patreon page, there you can download a full transcription, including tabs and regular notation. The link is down in the description. If you enjoy the lesson, please hit subscribe, ring the bell and leave a like. The song is in the key of B minor and it starts with a guitar intro, which is basically the, the melody of the verse part. We are starting on this B minor chord. We bar the second fret and then we add the fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D string and the fourth finger on the fourth fret of the G string. Then we are picking the A string, the D string, the G string and the B string. And after we've hit the, the B string, we're doing a hammer on on the third fret of the B string. Then we're going to the fifth fret on the B string with our fourth finger. And first we're doing a slide to the seventh fret, and then we're sliding up to the to the tenth fret. Then we're going to the ninth fret of the high E string. Then we add the tenth fret of the B string and the eleventh fret of the G string. Then we're going down to the 5th fret of the E string, doing a slide down to the 4th fret and after that we're hitting the open E string, open B string and then the 2nd fret of the G string and the 1st fret of the G string. And after that we are hitting the open E string once again. And then we're going to a G major 7 chord, we have the 2nd fret of the high E string, the 3rd fret of the B string, the 4th fret of the G string and the 5th fret of the D string. And we're playing in arpeggio starting on the high E string, E string, B string, G string, once again the E string, B string, G string and we're ending on the D string. So the complete intro section. And this whole part is played twice. And then the verse starts and during the verse we're playing basically the same chords as in the intro of the song. We're starting on the B minor for one bar, followed by D major for one bar, E major, and we're ending on this G major 7 chord again. And during the first three chords you can play some ad lib arpeggios. And on the G major 7 chord we're hitting the E string, B string, G string. Once again, E string, G string, B string, and now we end on the on the B string. So these complete two bars. And this part is played twice. After that we have a pre-chorus starting on a D major chord. We 
starting on a D major. Then we're going to an A major chord. We bar the, the second fret of the D string, the G string and the B string. Then we have the open D, G and B string and then we're going to a G major chord. One and two and three and four and one. One more time. One and two and three and four and one. And now we're adding the third finger on the third fret of the B string and the and the first finger on the second fret of the high E string. And having a, a G major seven chord. So this complete section. And at the end of this second bar we're, we're playing a pickup with uh, starting on the on the low E string, doing a hammer on to the second fret of the E string and ending on the A string. We are repeating these two bars. And now we are playing basically the same section, but now we're starting on a on a B minor chord. And two and three and four and this is also repeated. Now we're reaching the, the chorus section. We are starting on a B minor chord, going to, to an A major or A power chord, Followed by this open G chord, third fret of the low E string and the third fret of the B string. And now we have a little movement in the bass line going down to the second fret of the low E string, back to the to the third fret of the E string, and now we're going to the fifth fret of the A string down to the fourth fret of the A string. One and two and three and four and one more time. One and two and three and four and. And then we're back on the on the B minor chord. So this complete two bars. And these two bars are repeated three times. Then there's a four bar interlude starting on the D major chord. We are starting on, on this D major chord, one and two and three and four E and. Then we're moving this chord shape up two frets, then we have the E major chord with a D in the bass, one and two and three and four E and. And then we're going to this G major seven chord. And then we have a, a little melody line, second fret of the of the high E string, open E string, followed by the open B string. And in the last bar we repeat this. But we're we're adding a little hammer on pull off on the on the high E string, starting on the high E string, hammer on on the second fret, pull off back to the 
to the open E string and we end on the B string. So this last bar once again. And one more time the, the complete four bar interlude. And then we're back in the next verse part, which is played completely the same as the first verse. Then we have another pre-chorus section played the same and we have another chorus, which is only two bars longer than the first chorus. And after the second chorus, we have a different interlude. We're starting once again on, on this D chord and here you can also play some, some ad lib arpeggios and then at the end of the first bar we're adding the, the fourth finger on the third fret and doing a slide with this complete voicing up to the, to the fourth fret. Then we, we release the fourth finger and have this E over D chord once again. So the complete first bar once again. Then after this E over D chord, we're going to E minor chord with D in the bass. So we, we, have, uh, we leave the third finger on the fifth fret of the B string, we use the first finger for the third fret of the high E string and the second finger for the first fret of the G string. And at the end we're going back to this. And this section is played four times but on the last time we end with a stop on the, on the E minor over D chord. So the last time goes like this. And this leads us to the comping part for the guitar solo. If you're listening closely to the first four bars of the, of the interlude, you will hear also a hammer-on pull-off combination played during the, the E minor over D chord. This variation goes like this. So we're, we're playing some ad lib arpeggio. And then we end on the on the third fret of the of the high E string again. Then we're hitting the, the third fret again and doing a hammer on pull off. And then we're going down to the open E string and down to the B string. So in combination with, with the rest of the bar. And then you're back. The comping pattern for the guitar solo goes like this. We're starting on a B minor 11 chord. It's basically the same voicing as this barred B minor chord, but you don't bar the second fret. You have only the second fret of the A string and we have an open E string. So we play the chord, one E and E, two E and E. One more time, one E and E, two E and E. So we have the chord and then we have the E string, B string and G string. And this is played twice, one E and E, two E and E, three E, 4 E and E 
and then we're going to this to this G chord. The easiest way is to leave the second finger on the third fret of the B string and add the, the first finger on the on the third fret of the of the low E string. Then we mute the A string and have the the open D and the open G string. And then we're doing the same arpeggio for one bar and then going back to the to the B minor chord. So this complete comping pattern. And this pattern is played over and over again during the guitar solo. If you want to improvise over the song, you can use the, the B minor pentatonic or the, the B minor scale. And after, after the guitar solo, there's one more chorus section, which is played the same as, as the choruses before. And on the last time, the song ends on this G major chord. This was the rhythm guitar part of Broken Bells by Greta Van Fleet. If you have any questions, drop me a line in the comments. If you enjoyed the lesson, please hit subscribe, ring the bell and leave a like. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.